आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज India's glorious fight for freedom is one of the greatest struggles the modern world has ever witnessed. AIR News brings you a glimpse of the valiant struggle every day. Arjun Lal Sethi, born on this day in 1880 in Jaipur, was a revolutionary freedom fighter and educator. Sethi rejected the post of collector offered to him. He said if he worked for the British administration then who will work for the freedom of the nation In 1907 he established the Vardhaman Jain Vidyalaya which became an important center of independence activists He was given the responsibility of the armed revolution in Rajasthan by Ras Bihari Bose CT scripted the attack on Viceroy Harding While serving as headmaster of Kalyanmal Mahavidyalaya at Indore he was arrested and was kept in custody for 6 years until 1922 In 1923 his son Prakash was critically ill Sethi received a telegram urging him to come to Jodhpur immediately Simultaneously he received another telegram requesting him to travel to Bombay for meeting with the activists He decided to go for the meeting rather than see the ailing son The life of Arjun Lal Sethi will continue to inspire the coming generations. On this day in 1943, four brave sons of Mother India were hanged for instigating revolt against the British Empire. In 1942, the Japanese forces occupied the Southeast Asian region from the British. At the time, the Indian Independence League and the Indian National Army decided to recruit young Indian men to help free India from the British rule with the help of Japan. In late 1942, 20 trained youths of the league managed to enter India. All of them were arrested soon after entry. Four of them were sentenced to death for waging war against the king. These four sons of Mother India who braved the British might were Abdul Qadir from Vicom Travancore, Satyendra Chandra Bardhan from Tripura, Anandan from Kerala, Fauja Singh from Mehsana Punjab. Vidil vadiyum mudiram muludum iniyum saridam eludum asayum kodigal uyarum uyarum nilavin mudugai urasum manida manida ini Abdul Khader's brave last words in a letter to his father were Do not grieve for me from the eye witnesses of my death one day you will learn how calmly and bravely I faced death you will be proud and happy then Also on this day in 1918 Shambhu Dutt Sharma a Gandhian freedom fighter was born in Punjab In 1942 at the age of 24 he resigned from the British Indian Army and joined Mahatma Gandhi's Quit India movement Shambhu Dutt Sharma was imprisoned many times during freedom struggle Sharma's team was known as Gandhian Seva Brigade on 15th of April in 2016 at the age of 97 he passed away In 1920 the Mohammedan Anglo Oriental College of Aligarh was converted into the Aligarh Muslim University AMU thus the present year represents a significant moment in the history of Aligarh Muslim University as AMU completes 100 years this day <laughs> The Aligarh Muslim University played significant role in advancement of modern education on one hand and freedom movement on the other. Sir Syed Ahmed Khan, who founded the Mohammedan Anglo-Oriental College, published a book under the title of Asbab Baghawat-e-Hind, wherein he criticized the British rulers. AMU produced many leaders who played an important role in the national struggle, such as Maulana Hasrat Mohani, Raja Mahendra Pratap, Ali brothers Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan to name a few 
Raja Mahendra Pratap Singh went to Germany and floated the idea of setting up a government in exile in Afghanistan in 1915. This was the first exiled government, a revolutionary step that remains a footnote in the history of freedom struggle. One of the first non-cooperation upheavals was among the students of the Mohammedan Anglo Oriental College. Reports of these incidents prompted Mahatma Gandhi and Ali brothers to visit Aligarh and appeal to the students to boycott their government-controlled institution. Captain Abbas Ali, who studied at the AMU, was among few Indians who joined the Indian National Army in Malaya for the liberation of India. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar, AIR News Ke Sang. See you in the next episode tomorrow.